Warning, graphic pest control video ahead. Do not watch if you might be offended. If, however, you really like watching pest control videos, then hello again and welcome to the Squirrel Hunter channel. Please continue and watch us as we control pest populations with silenced air rifles here in the UK. If you have any questions, can you please check the description below first to see if it's already been answered and for some useful links. Thank you. Happy New Year from the Squirrel Hunter channel and welcome to the first video of 2021. And just hopefully it'll be a bit better than last year. But let's get down to the shooting. We've got Brev on the trigger, on his feeder on Squirrel Hill. He's using the Calibre Cricket rack work tuned. And he's firing H&N Hunter Extremes. And this squirrel sat perfectly on the feeder, just as we like to see them. That's one down for Brev. That squirrel sat perfectly well, you can see. Nice and calm. And there's no trouble taking a good headshot on it. Side on. Between the eye and the ear. I mostly favour towards the ear edge myself. Straight through the brain, killed it stone dead. And here comes another victim. I think it's going to get a free feed. And it sat nice and straight on, without moving or messing about, making the shot very straightforward to take. And this is the intention of this video, is to discuss these things. You see how still it's sat? It's on alert. Taking the time, it's gone for the eye there, knowing full well the pellet's going to cross the brain and kill it stone dead. And as I said before, we're going to discuss a few things about squirrel shooting in this video. But before we go any further, I will reiterate, this is the UK, and we are using sub-12 foot-pound air rifles, which we can own in this country without a license legally. And that's why we're discussing this particular type of rifle and why we shoot them the way we do. Here's another one coming and sat just nicely. Another good headshot. And that's the way it normally goes. And because Brev's using the ATN digital scope on the top of his calibre cricket, we can see what he's aiming at and also what he sees through the scope. Sometimes it's a bit more difficult to see it on the normal camcorder. And we have another squirrel on the back left hand ledge. There's a few corpses on the ground. Can't see them that well because of the uh, vegetation growth. That one sat nice and still. So he shoots it where it sits. Most of what we do, and we show you in these videos, has come about through years and years of practice and seeing what went well and what didn't go well. See that head movement? You need to wait till they sit nice and calm. And then it's a judgment matter before you take that shot. When they're bouncing around and the head movement is going all over the place, you're more likely to miss or even worse wound. We don't want to do that, do we? This one's sat on this log. Those little head movements, as you'll see in the title of the video. And you have to wait for the head to stop moving before you can take the shot, if you want to do a good one. Like that. Completely poleaxed that squirrel. And when you do as much as it as we do, relentlessly shooting squirrels, one after the other, if you don't take these precautions, you'll end up with more woundings. And we don't want to wound anything. See the blood positively gush out of that one. The thing about the headshots is they don't get to run away. Or if they do, they don't go too far, and you can go and get them. Or if they need a second shot at the ground, you can usually do so without breaking cover, which is a positive benefit. And if you shot a body shot that wasn't quite right, they'd probably run a lot further and not flop onto the ground like we like to see them do. Just like that. So that's why we go for headshots. The other thing we do is we keep the distance down to as short as possible. In this case, 15 yards or thereabouts. Sometimes it's a bit less, sometimes it's a bit more. We do everything in our power to set the situation up so we can deliver a pellet to the brain of the squirrel. In the UK, the grey squirrel is an invasive species brought over from America back around about the time of the Victorians. And they're being shot because they're pests for no other reason than that, not because they're game, 
We will eat them with gravy and biscuits. They're being shot relentlessly because they need to be removed from our ecosystem. The whole woodland benefits from them not being here. Not least the birds twittering in the background because these things will take out their eggs and their chicks. So that's why we're shooting them and we shoot them relentlessly. And the more you shoot squirrels like this, the more you'll realize you have to take these precautions if you want to kill them cleanly. This one sat nicely for breath. It takes a shot. Typical reaction from a squirrel. Muscle spasm in and drops to the ground. You can see what he sees. Nice still squirrel. It's gone for the eye again. On that angle, the pellet will go straight back through out the other side. Nicely done there, bruv. But sometimes they won't sit still. Sometimes they'll fidget around. Well, you can see I've sped the video up here to show what sort of messing you have to wait for. We all grew up fishing. We all learned our patience doing that. There is no rush trying to shoot this thing. You know it's coming to the feeder. Very rarely do they run away. If it did run away, it would just come back another time. This one's about to present Bruv with a straight on headshot. He lines up on it, ready to take it. That didn't look a good shot, did it? He did go out and retrieve squirrel number eight. I'm not sure exactly where he shot it because there's no ATN footage of all the ones he failed to press the button. That was the one I wanted to see the most of. But never mind. Looks like he got it down the side of the neck. So it's the head movement that caught him out. With straight on shots, you very often get a body shot. As the head moves, you end up shooting them down the body. which doesn't move so much, if that makes any sense. The pellet slips down the neck and into the heart and lung area. You can see this squirrel's going to mess about quite a bit more. Let's push the stock dove off the feeder. We didn't come here to shoot birds. Not allowed to shoot the stock dove anyway. We just want that one to sit nice and still. And that'll do nicely if he stays there. He does. Nice comeback from Brev there. It's quite disconcerting sometimes when you have an off shot. Head movement is quite quick, as we'll discuss towards the end of the video. So I managed to turn the ATN on again now, give you a clue where the pellet's going. See that there? Could have taken the shot. This is better though. It's all about judging what the squirrel is going to do next. And normally when they sit up to feed, you can put the crosshairs on the head and then I'll dip down and it'll come back up into the crosshairs. This one's not quite doing what it should do. That'll be all right though. There we go. Don't get that with static targets. We do recommend wholeheartedly before you go anywhere, you do a lot of practice on static targets. You need to check your rifle and check your abilities. You both need to be in tune with each other before you go out and take on live quarry. That's not the total story, is it? To be able to do that, you need to be able to judge what the squirrel's doing. That's something a normal target never does, is twitch its head or move the bullseye. If you can use that analogy, it can move any time. You have to be a judge of squirrel behavior. Any type of shooting, killing animals, whether you hunt or whether you use a feeder to do what we do, you still have to judge the animal's behavior. Most of the animals will do different things, depending on the species and how they evolved. Certain noises will cause some animals to stop still, like a squeak for a rabbit, where if you want to stop a squirrel, it's more of a clicking sound, etc, etc. You need to know your quarry, as well as your rifle. That's the point with head movement. Sometimes they don't do what you think. They'll move their head, and you'll start wondering how you missed a shot, and start questioning everything, because they move so quickly. We'll discuss that in a minute, once Brev's got his finger out and shot this thing. Like that. 
I'm only joking, of course. He took the amount of time he thought he needed and he killed the thing. And that jumping around, just nerves. There's a link in the description as to why they do that if you're so interested. I'm not bothering to explain it here again. Here's the ATN footage looking straight at him. See that head movement there? Could have quite easily decided to take the shot. He judged it right as soon as it got up into that sat down position with its head pulled back in. Right then, this is off my editing software. I've clicked on the ATM footage and pulled up the properties. And it's told me that the frame rate is 50 frames a second. So we'll use that for some calculations in a minute, just to see how quick these squirrels actually are. Right then, one second divided by 50 frames a second is 0 0.02 of a second per frame. So each frame is 0 0.02 of a second long. After a quick Google, we find out the average reaction time for a human to visual stimuli is 0.2 to 0.25 of a second. These are broad strokes. I'm sure there's somebody you could find quicker, but we're looking at averages just so we can get an idea what's going on. Now the next two frames I've taken screenshots of are from Bruv's last squirrel he shot, not from actually when he shot it, but from when I said, did you see the head movement? So that was a position that he could have taken the shot on. And this is the position the squirrel ended up in. You quite clearly see any pellet launched would have missed the head completely. And that was only eight frames. So we do the mathematics on that. You should quite easily be able to see the problem with 0 0.08 of a second to move its head from a position where the shot would have killed it clean to a position where the shot misses it completely. And that, in a nutshell, is what head movement is all about. And that vexes shooters of squirrels all the time, myself included. Just like a really slick boxer slipping a punch, the intended damage isn't caused, and the squirrel goes on to either run away, or sometimes I'll go a little bit and stop and look back, and usually on alert, usually not moving their head, believe it or not. This is the last squirrel of the day. Brev successfully killed all of them so far. Let's see what happens with this shot. Looks like a good shot, doesn't it? Straight to the ground. Let's take a closer look at what the ATM got. There's the shot, sat up nice. You see it move its head? It's caught it in the neck. That's where he went to take the shot. You can see he's lined up on it, squeezing the trigger, and that's when the pellet actually struck the squirrel in the neck, by the look of it, exactly five frames later. Now we're sat 15 yards from the feeder, which is 45 feet. And just to reiterate, I'm talking about UK sub 12 foot pound rifles, which in 2.2 will give you roughly 580 feet per second, and 177 approximately 780 feet per second. I'm not looking for any other arguments. I've gone middle for diddle, just to get an overview. So using those figures of 45 feet and the speeds of the pellets, I'm thinking the 2.2 pellet will travel the 45 feet in 0 0.078 of a second and the 177 will do the same distance in 0 0.058 of a second. So, added together the human reaction time and the pellet flight time, and taking the slowest and fastest times we get from both, a span time between 0 0.328 and 0 0.258 of a second from reaction to the pellet hitting the squirrel. And that's the reaction of the person deciding to take the shot to the pellet hitting the squirrel in the head. And I've used the slowest pellet time with the slowest reaction time and the fastest with the fastest, if that makes sense. So it should be obvious that a squirrel at 0.16 of a second is way quicker than we are, roughly about twice as fast in fact. So then, now you should see why we wait for squirrels to take up a feet in position or go on alert, because that head movement will catch you every time. And no, as some people have said, squirrels don't deflect pellets with their head. Their heads are paper thin. I've got a skull I use for reference, and they're so flimsy it's unbelievable. A good contact with a pellet will kill it. But if you miss the head, it's going to run away, and you've been done by a squirrel's head movement. Be more patient, wait for the optimum moment, and make sure your kills line up like Brev's ear. Incidentally, well done, Brev.
Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.